Now, the other mode of field recording allows you to record up to four channels at the same time because there are no real popular formats that hold more than two channels of audio. The resulting recordings will be a pair of stereo wave files. In fact, when recording in four channel mode, wave files, they're the only option in terms of recording format. Uh, I have two external mics, uh, dynamic mics plugged in, and let's go ahead and record four channels simultaneously. Press menu, and you can go up to the mode here, press that, and here are the three modes that we can select from. We'll select the four channel, and press the dial, and then when you go back to this screen, you can see the four channel reflected up here. So, we'll go ahead and press record, and voila, we have two stereo level meters, and all of the inputs here are lit. You have independent levels on each of these guys here. If we press mic, then you're setting levels for the microphone levels, that's the inbuilt mics there. Press either one of these guys, and you're setting the input level for the two inputs. So pressing record again will start recording two stereo wave files. And once you've created a number of recordings, of these four track recordings, you can select which one you want to play back by using the folder and file buttons on the front panel. Press file, which is the second shortcut button here, and you'll see all the recordings that have been made in this particular mode. Note that there are actually two wave files recorded for every four channel recording, but it only seems like one is shown here. Actually, if we were to look at the files that are on the card by placing the card into a computer card reader, or even connecting the H4N directly via USB, you can see that there are three folders on the SD card. One for stereo recordings, one for four channel recordings, and one for the multi-track recordings. So if we go into the four channel recordings, you can see that there are actually a pair of stereo WAV files for each four channel recording. The one with the suffix M is the stereo file with the built-in mics. The one that ends in I is the file that recorded the inputs. M and I stand for mics and inputs. Note that back here on the H4N, only one file is shown here, but in loading up that single file, the H4N actually is loading up them both. It just kind of makes it a little bit easier to sort through these files. Now, if you want to look through your stereo recordings, you must first change to that mode, and then the stereo files will be shown. So for example, if we hit the file here, it seems like our stereo files aren't there. Well, you first need to change the mode. So I'll go into menu, mode, stereo, and now pressing that same file, you can see here are all our stereo files.